Alice Leslie and I am back with a little mixed haul for you. I've got some thrift store all the way to Tuesday morning and Hobby Lobby for you. So I'm going to start with just, you know, the, the nearest thing to me and that's napkins. I found these cute little napkins in their 70% off Christmas. Um, but then when I got inside, it ended up being 90% off. So these cute little napkins with these, um, little images on them and it's, it's just too cute. I couldn't pass them up. I had to get them. So, um, I got a couple of packs of those for 20 cents each. I got this pack. This is Kim Kane Lane, it's called. But to me, this is something that could be used year round. It's not just a uh, Christmas and I need to cut that open. Um, I did get the snowflake napkin in that beautiful and it's uh, an embossed feel. So, you know, got to pick up napkins. I picked up these, um, you know, just because, you know, 90% off. I go back out and I look at it. And that's that's part of my craft hoard problem. Um, you will be seeing a new series for me. It's going to be Craft Hoarders Anonymous. And it's going to be um, just all about uh, organizi organizing your craft room, craft room tours, and um, ways to organize each and every little thing in your craft room. So I hope that you will find some sort of um, inspiration, if nothing else, to clean up your space. Or if if nothing even remotely um, does anything for you, maybe you'll look at it and go, God, at least my space isn't that bad. There we go. I said it. It's horrible. Um, some of you might need to take a Xanax before you watch it because, I mean, I'm telling you, if, if you don't like um, the show Hoarders, you won't like my craft room. And I'm nowhere near that bad, but okay. I'm an organized hoarder is what I am. I'm a collector. Okay. Shut up, Leslie. It, and that's the thing is I keep going and buying because when I'm at Hobby Lobby and I see these little tags for $1.24, why would I not get them? Is that not precious? Of course. You stick it in a pocket in a journal. Um, it can go in a mini album. It can go in a card to somebody. I mean, of course I'm getting them. Um, so I went to a thrift store. And usually in thrift stores, I'm not going to buy very much. I'm, I'm usually looking for paper items or a book that really stands out. Something like that. And um, I think I did get a couple of kids books, but I don't have those in here because they're nothing that's a big deal. But I wanted to show you things like this. This is a um, shelf, uh, a thing that you sit on yourself that gives you like a second shelf, uh, a razor, riser, whatever you call them. And it was a dollar. It's upside down, but it was a dollar. And I got two of those. They had probably six of them. Started to buy all of them, but then I was like, okay, you don't need all of them. But I got two of them because um, they are good to just, you know, have there and then you could put something a little bit higher. On my desk, uh, I used to have drawers um, that organized little things, but I hated that they were on the same level as my papers because I would have to move my papers out of the way to be able to pull the drawer open. Well, this um, razor, riser, whatever you want to call it, will will raise up the item um, the drawer system and so that way you don't have to move your things if you have that sort of situation but the um trip was completely worth it in this thrift store because i got this die do you see this and i got it for two bucks a Sizzix easel card die is basically what it is now all the the, the lace and the, the die here does not come with it, but it comes with the die that cuts it. And it's hard to tell, but it comes with the die that cuts it so that this part comes, flips up, that you can attach something to it, and it will make an easel that catches into the little piece here. That again, you can add something there to make it a little more decorative. But yes, for $2. Yeah. Do I need this? Probably not. Am I going to use it? Maybe once or twice, and then I'll sell it in a D stash, which that's another thing. I'll be doing a big D stash. I've got so much to D stash, it's gonna take forever. In this, uh oh, form of paper, uh, in this thrift store, I also found some maps. Now, I want you to um, look at these, these are marked 50 cents each. 
when you go in a thrift store and you see something and you see the price that it's marked, this particular thrift store, if something was marked a dollar, they sold it for a dollar. Some thrift stores you go into, especially Christian missions, if you go up there with five or ten dollars or a basket full of stuff, um, lots of times they'll throw in, you know, you know, everything for five bucks and, and you should have paid 11 bucks kind of thing. And lots of times I always pay extra and that way they're getting kind of a little donation on top of it. But anyway, I go into this thrift store and they're wanting to sell everything for exactly what that price type says. But they have these marked for 50 cents each. It is a map of Austria. Austria. Now, not any kind of offense to anybody that lives in the Austria area. But this is the United States. More specifically, this is Alabama in the United States. Nobody needs maps of Austria. These were going to sit on their shelves for years. So I just asked her if she would be willing to sell all three of them for 50 cents. And she said, of course. That would be great. She said, um, and I said, you realize they are maps of Austria. And she said, yeah, okay. Do you see? So you just have to point out things to them sometimes. So I did this, and it is a map of Austria, and it is going to be so great to make pockets and envelopes and tags with this. Because, I mean, Austria, that's random. Found it in Alabama, South Alabama. Okay. Um, also in the thrift store, they had, um, a, a gift wrapping section that had, um, pieces of rolls of gift wrapping and then these folded kind. And I thought this was just absolutely beautiful. So I can't wait to use this. She charged me a dime for this. 50 cents for maps for Austria, but a dime for this. I thought, okay, I think we're not really thinking here, but yeah, I love it. Protect your head and neck from injury. Do you see this? That's interesting. On the back of this. Butterfly wrapping paper. Interesting. Okay, so, of course, I couldn't pass that by. And let's see. I think that's all at the thrift store. Okay. Um, I could open those. Then I was in um, Cracker Barrel. Okay. So, another problem. Oh, wait, no. Here's some more from the, uh, the thrift store. The thrift store also had um, some uh, post-it notes. You probably didn't recognize me without my cape. And this one is like these women, they're all going like, WTF? <laughs> I thought it was so cute. So, I got those. They had those, um, 50 cents each, and I didn't say anything. I paid that. Um, they had a magnet for 25 cents. It said, sure, I'll get right on that. And it's a cat, you know, kind of with that look. Reminds me of my aunt's cat. I'm going to send her this because she's got three. Okay. Um, then, like I said, I went to Cracker Barrel. And in Cracker Barrel, they have a 70% off section. And I always go back there. And they also have an Alabama section, which is a section where they have items um, you know, from Alabama. And that way, when people are coming through from other states or whatever, they can, you know, pick up a little memento or things. Well, there was a pack of playing cards, and I thought, okay, that's perfect for uh, ephemera for journals and things and the send in happy mail. There were also these tins. It says the South Alabama, and it is sugar-free peppermints and probably like a... Um, um, you know, those curiously strong mints. I can't think. Altoids. So, they're in these cute little boxes that have a flat top, and um, it was $2.49 regular, but these were in the 90% off section. So, again, 25 cents. That means that, you know, somebody might get the box or something. I don't know. These were 20 cents each. Okay. My favorite, caramel. These are the caramel hard candies. They don't have the creamy center, which, you know, I like and I don't. But this is my favorite candy. So, uh, 25 cents? Yeah, I'm getting those. Then, um, okay, then they had chicken poop. Free-range chicken poop. <laughs> it's lip junk you put on your lips. Avocado oil. 
And so I'm going to send this to my sister-in-law. I think that'll make her day. And um, then they had a section that was kind of farm, farmhouse slash laundry room slash 50s kitsch uh, sort of kitchen look. And these were in there. They are $5 a piece. I paid full price for it. But tell me, how hard would it be to pass those up? It was very, and so I didn't. Okay, then, um, in Hobby Lobby, I found these stickers, and I noticed that two of the stickers, it was it was hanging on the thing, and I noticed it was bent, and two of the stickers were missing, and this one was like this. So I took it up front, and I thought, I'm going to just ask. All of Paper Studio was 50% off. So I went up front, and I asked her, since this sticker was there, and it wasn't bent, she didn't give me any discount for that, but she took, it was 20 stickers, so she said there was 18 left, and then she took 249, and she did all this kind of math, like she said 249 divided by 20, and then she took, you know, that gave her per sticker price, and she multiplied that times 18, that gave the price of the sheet, then I got 50% off of that. So, my point is, ask. When you find something that's damaged or, or whatever in Hobby Lobby, just ask. And, and there we go. I, I got that for a dollar. Um, no, I don't need stickers. But, oh, well. Um, Hobby Lobby. Hobby Lobby. Hobby. Oh, you need stickers. I was at my daughter's and um, I needed a pen and I went into a drawer and I found these little note cards. And I said, what are these for? And she said, I don't even know what they are. She said, you didn't have them. Yay. So I got a bunch of those free. Um, in Hobby Lobby, they had 75% off of their home decor. And I fell in love with this um, clock, which actually will work with a battery. And it was reduced. It was $25. It was re reduced to $625. So 75% off of the $25. It does have this um, break on the front. So I'm going to continue breaking the entire glass off. My husband said he would help me with that and get it get it out nice and neatly but it's cute it's got a stand to sit or i was thinking about you know hanging it for some from some rope on the wall not really sure where it's going yet because i got a kitchen i mean excuse me i'm clock up in my main um den so this may end up down here in the craft room because i don't have a clock just here with my desk and it does match my stuff so there's that see when you have a hoard desk it's mess everywhere okay tuesday morning i got some um modeling paste um i have some texture paste i got modeling paste I, i'm gonna find out what this stuff does you know what i'm saying I, i'm just gonna play with some things and see what they are I, i'm ready to start playing tuesday morning i also found this um stencil it is just the the letters it, there's um nothing in between so the letters if i use the stick uh, texture paste the letters would be indented so that's kind of i'm excited to use that i got a pack of the craft card stock this is coordination's brand it was three dollars at tuesday morning i got some gifts right there but can't show you those okay this is simple stories and it is wood and gingham basics. And you get, um, let's let's do here. You get all these colors. So a peach, a pink, a um, more coral, red, orange, yellow, green, um, aqua teal, blue, um, the purples. And then you get a cream, a gray, and a black. And you get it in the large gingham check sort of your buffalo plaid um if you will here is the solid color just the wood print you get the small gingham check and then you get the uh distressed wood print and so you can see what they look like okay okay so there you go and then Hmm, I don't know how these are divided. Wait. Okay. Oh, there's the wood. Oh, isn't that gorgeous? Yeah. 
and then there's that distress wood, kind of a painted distress. So I felt like I couldn't pass this up. I believe it was six, yes, yeah, six dollars. I felt like I couldn't pass this up. I don't need more paper, but this is one of those that's a standard. It gives you primary colors for doing children's things. It gives you wood for doing distressed, but yet not really distressed because some people, especially in my area, aren't completely over in the distressed. They like a little bit of that, but not much. So this is going to be perfect for that. And then, of course, I've got some that I can do some others with. So, um, yeah, couldn't pass that up. Six bucks, 180 pieces. That's excellent pricing. Okay, then, let's see what else I've got here. This is all mixed up, but, but you know, the state of my desk, you're just going to have to deal with it. Okay, now, uh, Tim Holtz, $5, but I had to get it. I just got some Tim Holtz stamps the other day. I don't know if I've gotten this one already. Um, so... Yeah, which makes me think I need to start doing a um, inventory while I do this uh, craft hoard. And that way I know what I have and I don't buy double. 50% um, off Paper Studio. I always get packs of flowers. I've got to where I like to get these that have the small flowers and the larger flowers and leaves. I really like this collection like this because when it is, look how, sh how much I'm shaking. Sorry, guys. Uh, but when I get this kind of collection, then you've got all this to, to use. I have, um, this is from um, Tuesday morning. And it's just some stickers. Loved those. Uh, stamps from Tuesday morning. This is um, the uh, snowflakes with some um, uh, word stamps. And it also comes with a couple of dies. I like that. This I really love. So... I'm excited about using this. Love texture stamps. This, I love these that are, um, I've seen um, people like Jennifer McGuire and stuff um, use them. And it's, you stamp this like in the pale color and then you stamp darker colors on top and it creates a depth effect just, you know, sort of like this. So I'm really excited about using that. Here is some junk journal goodies. These are architecture from Seven Gypsies. I got it for $5. Now, you're like, oh my God, $5. But 30, 30 pieces, $5, and it worked out to be, I um, uh, can't remember, but like um, six or seven cents a piece. So, yeah, I went ahead and did it. Um, Hobby Lobby spare parts, but it was Paper Studio, and it was 50% off. So, $3. There's six of them, so that's 50 cents a piece. And I... Made my own. I mean, I had one recently for my daughter's wedding album, but it was a little small for the size knob I use. So now I've got some other ones that I can use. Okay, chickens. Need I say more? Chickens are, well, excuse me, roosters, actually. So do I need to say more? No, I don't. Hobby Lobby, Paper Studio, 50% off. A dollar? <laughs> of course. Um, I'm not big on things that say farmhouse. Or um, say, uh, you know, that are really point blank farmhouse, say in farmer's market and, and farmhouse. But in an album, in a book, in a journal, you know, some pieces like this with some different things, that would be okay. As far as like out as decoration in my house, not so much. But, you know, these things I have in my house. I have this, this, some old wood, and I've got the... Um, windmill now we actually are thinking about making our windmill work again with a hand pump water well i'm so excited okay um i believe that's it on the haul and until i clear another layer i won't know if that was it or not okay so as i was clearing away i did find some other items that i had uh, i also walked into a um, antique flea market kind of store that was right beside the thrift store, that was right beside, you know, a dollar store. Um, so, uh, they have these cards that have these old cars on them. And I just thought those were cute. This was $2 for this pack. Wait. Um, I think this pack might have been a dollar. It, it would have been no more than $2. And um, I'm not pleased with the state of the box so that's not anything I'm going to keep. This little box is cute. 
And then it, this was $2 also. She had two packs of them. I should have got the other one. You know, what do you do? I, you don't think when you're in places like that. And for two bucks, this was completely worth it. Because look at these beautiful cards. I mean, people would love to have these in their journal. Ugh, I don't know. I don't know what I was thinking. So I may end up back in that store, but you know, it's one of those huge places, you know, it's like kind of a warehouse kind of thing. And you know, this was a place way down in the corner of something else. And so I don't know. Um, so yeah, I, I knew I would find something else. Talk to y'all later. Thanks for stopping by.